We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number five. A young attorney has the chance of a lifetime. Bill Chadwick Waters. We want you to come to New York. All expenses, first class, travel and lodging, you and your wife. Oh my God. He will enter a place of wealth and ambition. We've got 40 partners vested at the moment. In addition to our corporate clients, we're currently representing about 25 foreign countries. He's got you scheduled for 15 minutes, so make the most of it. John Milton. Kevin Lomax. Well, what's that like? One day you're putting them away, next day you're setting them free. It takes a little getting used to. It pays better, though, doesn't it? Welcome to Babylon, Ma. Speak of the devil! <laughs> a world of power and seduction. Who's that with the senator? Controlled by one man. <laughs> I swear he can hear us. Hell, he can smell us. He will make your dreams come true. Wanna come upstairs and... Now? <laughs> he will grant your fondest wish. I'm just warming my hands on your talent. You know what I see? I see the future of this law firm. He knows your greatest fear. Milton is into everything. Arms brokering, chemical weapons, toxic waste, money laundering for the Eastern Bloc. I mean, it goes on and on. I don't like it here, Kevin. And he knows the price of your soul. Let's make a beef. Who are you? Oh, I have so many names. I'm here on the ground with my nose in it since the whole thing began. God likes to watch. He's an absentee landlord. Keanu Reeves. He's always been there. I know that now. Al Pacino. As God sleeps late. We will win. <laughs> it's my time now. <laughs> the Devil's Advocate. Number four. You ever served in an infantry unit, son? No, sir. Ever served in a forward area? No, sir. Ever put your life in another man's hands, ask him to put his life in yours? No, sir. We follow orders, son. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal. All those having business with this general court martial, stand forward and you shall be heard. The facts of the case are these. On midnight of September 6th, the accused entered the barracks room of their platoon mate. They woke him up, tied his arms and legs with tape, forced a rag into his throat. A few minutes later, a chemical reaction caused his lungs to begin bleeding. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Do you think Santiago was murdered? Private Santiago is dead, and that is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. How do you feel about that theory? Sounds good to me. I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. No deal. We're going to court. No, you're not. Why not? Because you'll lose. You want to investigate me? Roll the dice and take your chances. I eat breakfast 300 yards from 4,000 Cubans who were trained to kill me. So don't think for one second you can come down here, flash a badge, and make me nervous. You men follow orders or people die. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You! That if this case is handled in the same fast food, slick ass, Persian bazaar manner with which you seem to handle everything else, then something's gonna get missed. In the heart of the nation's capital, in a courthouse of the United States government, one man will stop at nothing to keep his honor, and one will stop at nothing to find the truth. Number three. Highline Incorporated is now represented by Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown. And more specifically, Andrew Beckett. Yes! Bravo! <laughs> I sincerely appreciate your faith in my abilities. Mr. Beckett! <laughs> How are you? What happened to your face? 
I have AIDS. Oh. I'm seeking representation. You want to sue Wyant, Wheeler, Hellerman, Tetlow, and Brown? I was diagnosed with AIDS eight months ago during a bout with pneumonia. What was that in your forehead, pal? Uh, Andy, everyone in this room is your friend. I misplaced an important complaint. That's their story. We've been talking it over, your future, that is, and we feel that because we respect you so much, we must be honest with you. Excuse me. Am I being fired? Would you accept a client if you were constantly thinking, I don't want this person to touch me. I have a case. I don't want them to even breathe on me. You don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you. That's correct. I don't. That's very disappointing. Sir, wouldn't you be more comfortable in a research room? No. Would it make you more comfortable? Back it. How you doing? Counselor. Did you find a lawyer? There's going to be things said at the trial that are going to be hard for you to hear. I want to know everything about his personal life. What deviant groups did he secretly belong to? I didn't raise my kids to sit in the back of the bus. Is Andrew Beckett the kind of lawyer who misplaces crucial documents? An excellent lawyer. Andrew Beckett is dying. You were impressed with Andrew Beckett's work. Andrew Beckett is angry. What powerful force has caused him to change his mind? And he wants someone to pay. TriStar Pictures presents... The law's been broken. I just want what is fair, what is right. You remember the law, don't you? A Jonathan Demme picture. So let's talk about what this case is really all about. Did you fire Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS? The general public's hatred, our loathing, our fear. In this courtroom, Mr. Miller, justice is blind to matters of sexual orientation. We don't live in this courtroom, no, do we? Tom Hanks. I love the law. Denzel Washington. Are you gay? Objection! In a story about our lives. Oh, Mom, today's a good day. Our fears. Andy brought AIDS into our offices. And our humanity. I hate this case. Philadelphia. How many lawyers you go to before you call me? Nine. Number two. The most electrifying entertainment of our time. The stunning climax to a half century of motion picture suspense. The setting is London. The story, two people in love. A murder and a trial climaxed by the 10 most breath-stopping minutes you've ever lived. The cast, Tyrone Power, in love with a woman who holds his life in her beautiful hands. Charles Lawton, in the most scintillating role of his brilliant career. Marlena Dietrich, the woman of mystery, a fascinating question mark. Mrs. Vowell, do you love your husband? Linda thinks I do. Well, do you? Am I already under oath? We are dealing with a capital crime. The prosecution will try to hang your husband. Betty, bye. Go upstairs now. Get undressed and lie down. We? Oui, what a nauseating prospect. How did you get hold of these? What difference does it make so long she gets what's coming to her? What have you got against her? <laughs> I'll give you something to dream about, mister. Want to kiss me, ducky? Witness for the prosecution. You killed Emily French. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't kill her. I never killed anybody. <laughs> the question is, Frau Helm, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or are you not, in fact, a chronic and habitual liar? Damn you. Damn you. Leave her alone. Damn you. Members of the jury, are you all agreed upon your verdict? We are. Do you find the prisoner at the bar, Leonard Stephen Vole, guilty or not guilty of the murder of Emily Jane French? Guilty or not guilty? The answer to that question is the end of most mystery stories. But in witness for the prosecution, it is only the beginning of a series of climaxes that I defy you to guess. You'll talk about this picture all right, but you'll never tell the ending to your friends because you won't want to spoil their excitement and their fun. Number one. 
Number one. Of medical evidence that the crime Tom Robinson is charged with ever took place. relied instead upon the testimony of two witnesses whose evidence has not only been called into serious question on cross-examination but has been flatly contradicted by the defendant Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.